Chess and checkers are definitely two different beasts, or rather, one is a beast and the other is, well, checkers. It's hard to imagine that checkers would work as a video game, and the 1980 release of Video Checkers on the Atari 2600 proves just that. One problem is the controls, and you think to yourself, how can you fuck that up? It's checkers. Well, you can only move the cursor diagonally, and even though you're using a joystick which can easily be moved in that direction, it's still awkward. Why they couldn't just have it exist on a neutral space is beyond me. It's not like you can cheat in this game. And even if it's imperative that you don't move the cursor on inactive spaces, god forbid you do so. Couldn't you just move the joystick up and down and skip those blank spots? It would just make things less sluggish. An even bigger problem is how long it takes for the computer to make its move. In the harder difficulties, there are nine altogether. The computer takes longer to think, and in the most advanced mode it could take up to eight minutes. How the hell could a smarter opponent supposedly take so long to come up with a move in fucking checkers? I guess the limited hardware of the 2600 forces the AI to process through every possibility before making its decision, whereas the dumber opponent doesn't need to worry about such shit, so it processes much faster. While that's understandable, it makes the game at these difficulties virtually unplayable. Who the hell is going to sit around for practically an entire day playing video checkers? Checkers isn't really all that fun to begin with, it's okay for a quick little competitive time killer, but you don't want to kill an entire day doing so. There's a two player mode too if you want to play checkers bad enough without the painstaking process of setting up the board. There have actually been a decent amount of chess video games, but the 1978 release of video chess may be the earliest. It looks like shit, mostly because half the screen is the board and the other half is complete blue. While the pieces don't look great, it's actually amazing that they're all there, as the 2600 had a limit of having three sprites in a row. To get eight pieces to line up in a row, programmer Bob Whitehead thought outside the box and alternated each piece's position by the scan line. If you look closely, you can see how each piece looks slightly different than the piece across from it. Now while that was a positive move, there are still issues. And the issue with the computer AI taking forever to make its move, while well, that is magnified immensely compared to checkers, I guess because there's a lot more to think about in chess, in the most advanced mode the computer could take up to 10 hours to make a move. 10 fucking hours. Playing against someone via message in a bottle would be faster. The only advantage to playing these games would be under the circumstances that you want to practice and you have no one to play against, but the ridiculous waiting period between moves on the more difficult levels makes it unbearable. And at this point these games are so outdated that the only reason to get them is to add them to your collection.